Hi everybody, this is Faith from Fireside Tarot. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. We're going to throw down some cards for Capricorn for their first half of April reading. This reading will be Capricorn for Sun, Sun Moon, Rising, Venus, if it resonates with you. Cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. And if it doesn't resonate, that's fine. Forget you ever saw it. It's cool. Or you can check your Moonrise or your Venus sign readings, because sometimes those resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid, and all things can be, but vice versa. Okay. Positive vibes for Capricorn for the first half of April. Three more. Capricorn, why are you here? Princess of Cups reversed. Somebody's not saying it, are they? Hmm. Well, how do you feel about the person you're dealing with? King of Swords reversed. Got a whole lot of salty attitude about that, don't you? Like making an emotional decision, salty attitude. Hmm. What do you think of them? The sun card? Could be a Leo. You think they're a happy person? They, you think they brighten your world? You think there's a strong, powerful connection there? But you, you get a salty attitude about it? What do you want from them? Three of Swords. Huh. Wow. Heartbreak? Always nice to know that I'm definitely going to need to get some clarity on a reading. How do they feel about you? Four of Pentacles reversed. They could feel like you have something you need to release. They could need to release some feelings. What do they think of you? Six of Swords. They think you're fixing to pack up and move on. Wow. What do they want? Nine of Pentacles. They want independence. challenge here. Two of Pentacles juggling. Someone's juggling. What needs to be done? Ten of Pentacles reversed. Oh gosh. I'm 
money. Money, stability. Something's unstable. You could be arguing about money. Earthly matters. What's the potential outcome? Prince of Wands reverse. Things grinding to a halt. Okay, Capricorn, nobody panic. Nobody panic. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can we get some clarity on the cards and the table for Capricorn today, please, for the first half of April? Three of Cups. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm almost afraid to ask. Why did the Three of Cups just pop up? Ten of Cups. Okay. Well, that's the good news. The good news is it's going to come together. That's the good news. There's potential for a happy ending here. So that's good news. Why is the King of Swords here reversed? for how Capricorn feels about the other party. Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles over here. It's upside down. It's over here in the upright. You feel like someone's making an emotion-based decision because they're holding on to stuff. You feel like someone has a salty attitude because they're holding on to stuff. Maybe they're miserly. Maybe this is why we're fighting about money. Okay. Why is the sun card here for what Capricorn thinks of the other person? One card for the sun card. Why? Thank you. Six wands. One more. Three of Wands reversed. Two of Wands reversed. This person could potentially be a little bit cocky. <laughs> I just heard they think the vo you think the world you think that they think the world revolves around them. They're a little cocky. But you think there's something, you think they're at a crossroads, they can't let go of something. Why is the Three of Swords here for what you, what Capricorn wants from the other person? Why is the Three of Swords here? Eight of Wands, communication, you're not talking. You could want them to quickly get through a heartbreak to just get over it. You could want to talk about it. You could just want them to get over it. You could want them to talk about what happened. 
or why they're feeling the way they're feeling. Why is the Four of Pentacles reversed here for how the other person feels about Capricorn? Four of Swords reversed. Fours, fours, fours. Reversed fours. Queen of Wands reversed. They feel like things have ground to a halt. The passion isn't there anymore. You're restless. You're just... You're not holding back. You're just... Like, word vomit. <laughs> like, just letting go. They may feel like you're just spending money like it's water. Ace of Pentacles. You're breaking the bank. Why is the six of... Why is the six of swords up right here? for what Capricorn thinks of the other per what the other person thinks of Capricorn if I can make words work right now the page of pentacles reverse popped out all these reversed pentacles One more on that. They think you're getting ready to move on. Page of Wands reversed. Things grinding to a halt. Things need to stop. Grinding to a halt. Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands, both reverse. They think that you're going to shut the relationship down and move on because things aren't moving at an appropriate pace. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here for what they want from Capricorn? Six of Cups. They want to be okay again. They want it to be the way it was. I think somebody's extremely worried about money. Someone's holding back emotions and how they feel because they, they want to avoid conversation. Why is the Two of Pentacles reversed here for the challenge? Whoa! Ten of Wands, Five of Wands, someone's juggling. The challenge here is conflict and not releasing burdens. Juggling. One more. Ten of Swords reversed. Not allowing a painful cycle to come to an end. Negative thoughts. Negative thoughts. Bad mojo.
Wow. Two upright tens, two reverse tens. Imbalance. You're not on the same page, Capricorn. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for when why is the Ten of Pentacles reversed here for what needs to be done? Strength reversed. Stop trying to overtake one another. Star card healing. This needs to heal. The rough patch is over. You've already been through the ringer with each other. And now that what needs to happen is you need to stop worrying so much about money and material things. You just need to heal. And you need to find that balance again, that flow. Stop letting it drain you. Stop letting it drain the relationship. Knight of Pentacles. Maybe some apologies are in order. Maybe you need to sit down and talk about it. Why is the Prince of Wands reversed here for the potential outcome? Judgment reversed. Rethinking life choices. Slow down, come back around, a new beginning, but you got to let the healing come. You have to assess what's important. You guys have been through it. You're not talking about it. You're holding back. You need to release. There is a potential here for a wonderful, wonderful ending. This is like, this is family. This is emotional abundance. This is fulfillment. This is sunshine and freaking rainbows. And the potential is there, but you have to assess what really matters. Stability in a relationship comes from within, not from outside things. Don't let money be your third party. I know that's a horrible thing to say to an earth sign, but the bottom line, if you lose the house and everything in it and you still have each other, that's a lot. It really is. King of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. You still have abundance. You can still move forward with abundance. You still have stability. Three of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. Don't let money be your third party. 
and allow balance to be restored. Okay, Capricorn. My neighbors, my friends, I've missed you guys. You guys are wonderful. Thank you so much for the opportunity to read for you today. Let me know if it resonates. Like, share, subscribe if you feel so compelled. I'm not going to twist your arm. Leave a comment, send an email if you're interested in a personal reading. I'm down for that too. I finally cleared my docket out, so I'm wide open. I will be back later in the day for the work week top and bottom. And again in a couple of weeks for your second half of April. Namaste. Catch you next time.